Before I went on this mission trip, um, I was a little bit, I don't know, I wasn't the most excited because I have had a pretty busy summer and I've never been on a mission trip before, so I didn't really know what to expect. I was very excited. Kind of nervous, kind of excited, but also kind of skeptical because I didn't know what to expect. The sun is up and I know a place we can go. It's not far away, it's not far at all. Oh, you can see the mountains and hold the clouds in your Uh, I'm Will, I'm with uh, the church down the street, yes. all the journey, yes. uh, and we were handing out bags of uh, groceries. Oh, thank you! Oh, oh thank you, appreciate it! Yeah. One organization that I really liked was Bags of Hope, because we got to hear some stories from people and pray for people who were struggling. Her name was Tammy, and she had a daughter named Liana. She was just a single mother, it, just them there. Um, she told us that she was running low on funds. She just seemed so ready to take on the world, you know? She didn't seem like she was ready to give up, and I just thought that was really inspiring. I hear the wandering streams and the song of the birds. A man named Cedric, and this was when we were with The Journey, handing out bags of hope. So we knock on his door and we hand him his uh, bag of hope, and we ask if we can pray for him. And he says, yeah, sure, and he brings out his whole family. It was uh, Cedric, his girlfriend Janice, and then Carter, Caven, and Trent. And we all stood outside and he asked us to pray for peace for his family. So we prayed with him, and in that moment I just felt such an overwhelming feeling of peace that God was given. Mobile meals because I liked going I like up to their doors and talking to everybody and then handing them their food. Every dream I sold, every lie I told, just to be with you in this wildlife. One organization that we worked with that was probably my favorite was mobile meals because people were ready and expecting their meals to be taken to them and they were really grateful and it was just so great to see the love on their faces and joy that brought to them. 
My favorite partnership we did this week was the soup kitchen because uh, I got to hand out the lemonade and the waters to people and it was just like a simple exchange but it was so um, fulfilling because they would smile and they look so happy or you could just read people's emotions to see how they felt about um, coming to the soup kitchen and getting something to drink because it was such a hot day too so a lot of people were really thirsty and it felt like it made an impact. Seeing all the people get their food, everyone was so happy and grateful. The people we served and the people we served with, everyone was just had a smile on their face and was full of joy. I loved going to the retirement home. Not only did we get to do a cartwheel um, in front of the entire retirement home, but I got to meet a woman named Martha and talk to her, and that was really special. She used to be a big rollerblader, and I thought that was cool. Um, and she taught me to always keep my room clean and organized. She said that was very important for college. Still you matter to us for life's day and study. You matter to God and you matter to each other. Nice talking to them. I got to hear a lot of stories and really good advice. It's great. Strain, but you're standing brave. If you fall back down, if you make it out, when they hear your sounds and you set them free. One of the partnerships I really enjoyed was the Sidewalk Hope and seeing all the kids get the backpacks um, on Tuesday. giving the kids little backpacks and stuff because they honestly seem like they really loved it and some people may not have a lot of those things but they really love those backpacks. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and the blessings you have brought with it. And Father, I thank you so very much for these children and I know that you are raising up mighty men and mighty women of God to take the torch of your love, your salvation, your power into the world. Darling, let's go rolling down the open road and the coastline. We'll keep our arms open, keep our bodies floating into the light. 
Driving on the right side of the line Dug in the Siberian light This diamond by my side Yes, this war sold us time from this mission experience, I know now how it feels to just be surrounded by the presence and love of God and just to know 100% He's here with me, He makes change. Whenever I need anything, I can go to Him. To always go into stuff um, open and willing and then to also to always be grateful and happy for everything that I have and never feel like I don't have enough or um, just always be happy and grateful because even people that are not doing very well are always just happy and grateful for everything and I think that's a great way to live life and just not be like um, down and sad all the time and just try to perk myself up and keep going. Now I know that um, service is really rewarding and I, I sort of knew that before but um, I sort of thought that it was just something I was doing with the church and that it wouldn't really have any effects back on me but it's had a big um, I I think I got more than I gave to me, so. So many stories with so many different people, with so much of God's love in them, and I will never forget their stories. It's been amazing. So now I know that it's really important to be present in whatever you do, because that's how you can get the most out of any experience. How people struggle, and I don't always, I'm not always grateful for everything that I get, and now I've learned that I can be and need to be more grateful for everything that I have. Small acts of kindness really can do good and it makes a big difference and a big impact on people. There are different ways to connect to God other than going to church and volunteering at places can be really fulfilling. Keep praying to God and to keep being closer to Him and to tell Him all my problems. That God is real and God is good. That everybody is deserving, worthy, and capable of giving God's love. And um, I know for certain now that, that God is real. Keep an open mind and live for God, and that will just make your life better tenfold. Thank you so much to everyone who supported us financially and through prayer. Um, we couldn't have uh, done this mission trip without you. Thank you to everyone at Good Shepherd who prayed for us and financially supported us to come on this mission experience. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you, and I've had so much fun. I feel so much closer to God. It's just been an incredible experience. Thank you. So, Thank you, Good Shepherd, for praying for us. I'm so thankful that everybody allowed us to be here because this was a really moving experience for all of us. And I'm so grateful that I got to know everybody here. I want to thank you all for your support monetarily and just praying and being with us in spirit. And I really just want to thank all of you. Yeah, I'd like to thank you all so much for raising the funds for us to go on this mission trip. I've had a blast and I'm sure ev everyone else can say the same. Uh, thank you all so much.